Long D bringing you another episode of M14 Justice. Check it out, I get this grenade kill. But if you notice, it's actually because I blew up the car. You hear that noise? It's the car blowing up. So if you throw grenades and start a new town, make sure to go next to the fucking car and you'll fucking blow people up if they come next to the fucking garage or the fucking car. A lot of swearing out of the way. Um, watch me fail at this. It's pretty amazing. This is one of my favorite spots in Nuketown to hit people from, and for some reason the RPG cannot fucking make it in the window. It's like it's being propelled by some kind of weird fucking retarded ass propulsion system that makes it go way to the left or way to the right or way to the top or bottom of wherever you're fucking trying to shoot, and then the bastard almost kills me through the wall, and that's my trick, so I try to stick it to him by coming over here and fucking shooting a grenade, and of course I get him, and you know, noob tube for the win, right? Get my RCXD, I miss that bastard, maybe I'd flag jack it, I don't know. Um, this is actually a pretty good game that I got, and it's one that brings to mind a really particular uh, uh, play style, and, and the way that... Uh, okay, let me start out by saying that basically whenever I use the M14, I should have the foresight to put on high kill streaks, and I'll tell you why, because if you get with a competent team and you play in a particular way with the M14, you can do really well. I mean, that's not to say you can't do really well with any weapon, but I just find that my particular play style with the M14 uh, when I do it well, which I guess that makes sense considering if anyone does anything well, check this out, fucking headshot that guy like halfway through the door, whatever. Long shot, you know, just a uh, normal day's work. Uh, if I play particularly with the M14, I do pretty fucking well, and that, that particular play style is to, one, kind of play support, so I never rush in head first. I, uh, a lot of that has to do with how much you pay attention to your minimap and I don't know what that guy's doing, so I kill him. I throw my care package, which is not a smart idea, and let me tell you why. It's because I figure since there was one guy who spawned over here, my entire team would start spawning over here. Not true. I think I pretty much forced that spawn by carrying back in this corner. And so uh, the team, I think that was myself, I'm going off. Uh, the enemy team is still kind of over in this direction, so that was my mistake, and I get killed. But hey, I get spy plane, whatever. You know, counter spy planes up. Um, and I don't mean paint. Well, my camo just glitched. I, I just noticed that. Uh, I don't mean paying attention to the map, like paying attention to red dots, because you, you, I mean, obviously you have to pay attention to red dots. Don't lay down right there, because I'll shoot you. Um, you have to pay attention to red dots, because, of course, it signifies where the enemy is. Oh my god, this is a fail. I keep wanting to talk about something, but look at that fucking shit. Can't believe I did that. Um, you have to pay attention to the red dots, because that's where the enemies are. The thing you have to keep in mind is a lot of people run ghosts, so you can't just look at red dots, and my teammate saves my ass right there, so thanks, uh, whoever you are. I can't really see your name. Thank you. Uh, there's no one in there, even though I fired the rocket to clear it out. And then I kind of just, like, Hail Mary rocket over here, I expect people to spawn, and they're not. This guy in the window, kills people, whatever. Um, the thing you also have to look for is where your team is on the map, and you always, you always, 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 always want to make sure that there could not possibly be someone behind you. That's that's the best uh, it's the best advice I can give to someone who wants to play, like, a support shooter role, who's not, like, fucking rushing in with FAMAS and, you know, and, and fucking sleight of handing everybody and, you know, shooting them in the fucking face or whatever you want to do. Sorry, I'm dropping a lot of F-bombs. I can't really articulate myself that well today, but I do get a couple kills here, and so hopefully that'll make up for that. Ah, ha, ha, whatever. Um, then run from the grenade, do it. Uh, you want to make sure there's no one who could possibly be behind you. That's the most important thing to remember when you're playing a support role. Uh, and you want to make sure your team is basically guarding you. So you want to make sure there's no one, no one who could spawn, you know, off to the side and run up and surprise you, because that's going to ruin what you're going for. You're going for the slower play style, you're going for the support role, you're going for... Hey, I'm not going to end this game with, like, fucking 60 kills, but I'm going to have a good amount of kills, and I'm probably not going to have a good amount of deaths, which in itself is supporting the team, because you're not dying like a fucking cracker. Um, whew. Well, with that off my mind, uh, the second best play, you know, uh, like, not play style, but the second best method that I can think of to play with the M14 is counter-sniping positions, and the reason behind that is because uh, the M14 is really fucking deadly accurate, even without the grip, as you can see here. Um... And most of the time, if you hit, you know, certain parts in the body, if you hit uh, chest to head, you can get two hit kills with it, which isn't that bad, considering that, okay, a sniper rifle can kill you in one hit, if they get lucky, and if they hit you, if they're using, you know, the L96 or the PSG-1, if they hit you in the upper arm, or, you know, anywhere above the collarbone, basically, they get a one hit kill, sure, but... The point of counter sniping is to identify where a sniper is. So let's say like Babby Rock on Jungle, or you know one of the windows here in Nuketown, or across in the green yard where you saw me kill like two people in a row and shoot through the door. 
Uh, you identify where they are, and I still don't get anyone through here, and that shit sucks, because I love fucking killing people through this little porthole. Uh, you guys look out for this, and, you know, oh shit, there goes my cell phone, sorry, let me, uh, turn that off. Um, uh, if you guys want to shoot rockets through that little window, I do suggest the M72 law, because as you see, the RPG does not hit shit in a straight line. It just goes all over the place like a fucking toilet. Um, but yeah, you know, the the job of the counter sniper is to identify where the snipers are and then fucking mess with their heads. So, you know, you have to do a lot of strafing, you have to employ, like, you know, like, erratic movement because you don't want them to get a beat on you because that means that you die and they win. Um, yeah. So not a whole lot was said here, I guess, but hey, it's another good game that I'm bringing you. Uh, I'm going to post up another one probably today, kind of flood the market. Um, I don't actually kill anyone with my mortar strike, which is, you know, as, as uh, you know, Critical has said before, mortar strike fucking sucks all amounts of balls, and I finish uh, 17 to 1, 17 ratio. Uh, everyone on my team did really well. Uh, it was fun playing with you guys. Enemy team did really well, too. Uh, good job, you guys, and uh, if I catch you in the game again, uh, say hello and whatnot.